need some help with your lower bridge, it's a nice move. You can do it a couple air or even in movement. I was teaching on Saturday lower bridge with Catherine's. And my students were asking for some more tips how to improve. I believe, watch the video here, uh, they can do very good, very nice, better than me. But they still ask me, so I'm going to do some tips, okay? So first thing, um, healthy knees, okay? So to do healthy knees, you need to try to do a deep squat. If you can already do a deep squat, uh, you're in good shape to do a lower bridge, okay? Of course, you need a bridge, but it's no requirement. If you have a nice bridge, helps on everything in capoeira. So the first exercise here, you can do uh, like some C squats. So you can uh, start on the bar, on the table, hold on something, okay? So you go here, and hold, and bring it back. Do as many as you want, like three sets of 10. You can do for, for, for time as well, so you can hold for Hold. Another one to do very nice. You can have like a stick, a barbell, rope, something solid, and on the floor, and you kind of just walk down and then you walk up. Walk down and you walk up. Okay? It's probably, I would recommend this one to do this one. Um, easy to to maintain the grip, control your movement to go all the way down, and you can see it. Of course, uh, you can do this as well on the squat. You go on the, on the squat, touch with your knees, come back, touch with your knees, come back, touch with your knees, come back. You can put uh, the um, blocks. Yeah, do this do it quite fast but I don't want the tutorial to be too long so you can go you can take slower oh I forgot to give a tip to improve your your deep squats kind of blocks and stand here okay and try to be like between three to five minutes every day even 10 doesn't have to be everything in a row one minute 30 seconds until you can put your heels on the floor and come to have a nice legs. Okay, so those are the exercises to strengthen your quads and don't feel pain on your knees. Okay, some six squats until you can do the same thing from standing. So you go, you come back, you go, you come back. Okay, so you do those exercise when you get to that stage you can either go to the floor to learn the second part or you can go to the wall i go for i prefer the floor i learn from the floor that's not bad or worse i just prefer from the floor okay so the first exercise so i'll break this in three three stages first stage put your hands on the floor and push it stretch your arms so you touch with your knees on the floor. Hands on the floor, nice uh, bridge position, stretch. Okay, this is good. You most likely don't uh, feel your, uh, your cords burning. Once again, you can go for time. Stay here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, do that for a few weeks. Then do the same thing with one hand off. So you go, take one hand, then you take the other one straight away. Okay, and okay. keep the legs if you need to. Okay, so exercise one, touch with your knees. Exercise two, 
take your one hand off the floor one at a time or go up and down each time you take one. If you're pretty much on that level, you're able to take your hand and don't collapse, then you're ready for trying to spin. So a nice tip as well is to put the side of your hand, this plate, on the floor to help you turn and bring your elbow inside like a flare elbow to go instead of blocking here, turn your elbow as well, okay? Uh, once again. So one, two, okay, right here, turn and come out, okay? Push, hands, and then just come out, okay? Okay, one more time. I'll do one more time. Okay. Push, hands, see I have my head on the floor, nothing wrong with that. Okay, push, out, okay. Uh, the hardest part probably is, um, is to get in. So once again, like I'm a cap position or like a resistance, you're gonna, you're gonna bring your knees to the floor as much as you can by stretching this arm and you bring your hand uh, to the floor. Remember the elbow to go inside. So I stretch, maybe I can't go out, I sit down and go inside. Okay, go, go, can't come out, down, okay, it's pretty much done. Okay, last, last um, stage, you get in. I recommend getting on your on your back side, okay, the one I need more, the side I need more help uh, to come out is my left, so I get out, I get in on my on my bad side, and I come out on my good hand. That's normally the way I do it, but some people prefer to get in on the stronger arm and get out on the, on the weaker side. Maybe you don't have a weaker side, that's even, uh, even better, okay? So I'm here, I go, out, out, just do this one again, okay? You can do the same thing on the wall. Uh, uh, I can do it on the wall. I'm gonna show a couple more exercise to um, uh, when you're already on this stage, you just to polish the move. Let's see if I got space here to do it. So I'm gonna walk a little bit. So I'm gonna post my left hand on the floor I don't want to get too much out of the camera. I'm going to walk all the way to the wall with my with my feet and come back with a with bridge. So I walk, turn, out, and just go back. Okay, once again. So hand, walk around anti-clockwise in this way. Remember the the blades, the side of your hand on the floor. Turn. One more time each side. So, hand sideways. So I'm not gonna put my fingers on the floor. I'm gonna put the side here. And walk around, lean towards the floor, and walk again. Okay, one more, the other side. Hand, blades, walk, walk, walk. Okay. You can do the same thing on the wall. So first, let's see if I can get on the wall. Uh, you can start some study. So you just go one, turn. It's kind of a similar of learning a bridge. But then you start doing the same thing from a deep squat. Okay? So knees a little bit forward, turn. Walk a little bit forward. Okay. Until 
You can touch the floor. You can put your hand on the floor. Hand on the wall. Okay. Another type of front of floor, to be honest. But you can have the idea. I'll show you a couple more. Um, due to, to understand the idea here. So you can put, try to go as low as you can, bring your knees to the floor. Okay. And or you can put your hand on the wall and hand on the floor. Or you can put the hand on the floor and just the walls up, the wall come up a little bit. Okay. So here find a find a nice space. Hand on on the floor. Hand on the wall. Until you pretty much get to the same position here. Okay. It's pretty much the, um, the all the exercises. It needs a little bit of consistent, very everything needs consistent. Uh, let me know if you if you like. Uh, if you want to break down, need to break down the wheat cadre. Uh, just need a few more details. I'll show you with the cadre, how to fall with the cadre. You just go on. Let me just go. Let me just get some space. I can break down this one as well. And then that's it. Let me go back. Uh, thank you so much. Leave your comments if you need any help. Uh, send me a message on Instagram.